welcome all my YouTube friends. You're with Chantal in Sable sur Sart. And I thought, why not? Let's start under a magnolia tree. Because magnolia trees are amazing. <laughs> wow. There is a story with this uh, with this uh, magnolia tree, so let's go check it out. Connection is not perfect, but hey, we will find it. It is the square. I, I'm just trying to find the chats. Um, the square du juvenel cell. That was uh, Jean de Beu, and he was the governor of Sable. Okay. That's why you plant a good tree here. I'm uh, trying to find my uh, comments. <laughs> I don't know where they are. <laughs> oh, sometimes you have that, and you just can't find the people that follow. Anyway. What a fun little street here. So, Sable sur Sartre. Sartre, La Sartre, is in uh, somewhere in France. It is a little river. And Sable is of the cookies, the Sable cookies. Yes, I'm feeling a lot better, Susan. Thank you. So, that's why it's time to walk around a beautiful village. Uh, the funny thing is, I didn't even know cars could get through here, but anyway. Oh. Um, I'm traveling. It's the smallest village you can imagine, and they have an intercity TGV station. And I'm just in a back, in a back street of the center, because the first thing I always do, I come in an uh, office du tourism, and then we're here. Oh, yeah, Susan, like um, my bot, I have a bot in here, which is a nice bot, doesn't like emojis, so sorry about that. I should switch arm. Oh yeah, maybe I should film like this. Maybe then I can't hold my phone. Because I have two bags, because I stayed overnight. There is a chateau, a castle. So I'm still trying to find my way to it. But we can't visit the castle. It's closed. It's closed. The castle is closed. But... There is a TGV station. My train is going later and I just thought, why not go for a walk? I still suffer of the hay fever because it's been... There is the chateau. There was this very strange desert storm. It's all this red... Uh, red sand, Sahara sand. What is going on? I'm not sure if I'm... This is Rue du Petit Pois. Can I walk through here? <laughs> I mean, the car came in very fast. But hey, let's see where we end up. I think I'm following this map of the office uh, du tourisme. The tourist office. Uh, it says in the title, it is Sable. I'm not even sure, am I live on YouTube? Yes, I'm live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, <laughs> who knows <laughs> where I'm live. And here we have a village, uh, not a village, I mean the port, the little port. Well, the port is here.
and a lot of river cruises go from here. Yes, I actually read in. I read into it all. So if you're just joining, um, are we on Twitter? Let me check that. We are in Sablé, so Sablé sur Sartre, they call it Sablé. It is in the Pays de Loire. Yes, it is on Twitter as well. Wow, it looks so pretty. It looks so pretty. Hey, Chris, bonjour. Just checking if we're live everywhere. Uh, the YouTube app. I'm going to answer only the, the people that are commenting in YouTube. Maybe somebody can do a weather lookup for Sablé. Maybe, could you type it in, um, Chris? Hey, Peggy, bonjour, lovely, yes. Super lovely, I have to kill a few hours. And here is the chateau, which is not open. It was the old national library. And basically I got dropped here. A little while ago <laughs> by by Zoya. Yeah, I know there is a TGV. Uh, there's no chairs in the between, so I'm a little stuck here. And there is no restaurants open after lunch, so <laughs> I even had to go sit in a an bakery to have some lunch because otherwise I couldn't have eat anything. So that was quite funny. The tourist office was not even open. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, yes, Chris, I'm waiting patiently for that answer. Weather for Sablé sur Sarthe. It is 11 degrees. It's always 11 degrees where I am. And there's a little bit of wind, 18 kilometers an hour. We had so much sand. And I'm going to try to find my way through this park they say there is like something to walk through so let's try I'm just w carrying on my arm a heavy bag and I already have my uh, backpack as well yeah the blooming trees are awesome huh? Yeah, I think uh, maybe the app is just like saying like, wherever Chantal is, it's 11 degrees. So the Chateau is up here. I remember I was here with Tim or I've been here before, but I can't remember with who. Oh, <laughs> they have a special pool for a dog to pee against. Or is that the pool? <laughs> I don't know how that works. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's nice. Oh. I'm cold. And this is all the clothes I have, so I can can't even put or have to put some dirty underwear around my neck but I don't think that's gonna work but you know I'm sure when the sun shines it's really pretty okay there is a walk in the park let's go do it let's see if we have connection so they have locks Oh, do you see that blue line there? I think I'm still covered under the Sahara sands and over there where the line is, is the blue sky. So we are still covered under the last of the Sahara sands, that cloud that went over. I mean, yesterday it was like it here. I don't know how it was in Paris because I was not in Paris. But here it was like an apocalyptic 
orange and all the sand on the on the cars and really weird. So many bullets to choose from and they, <laughs> they expect dogs to choose the dog pose. I know, no, but I think it is like a little thing for the dogs to do their number two, maybe. I don't know. Risk the shoot, though. The shoot of what? Maybe of trees, but they seem to be all. So we're in the S. So we we'll walk all this. There is the. I need to go to number one. Face à la gare. That's where I have to go. So how do I get there? I have to make a shortcut to the to the train station. Forest to walk through, no? Ricky, you had a hard time connecting. Oh, seriously? It seems for me, seems to be okay. That's weird. Is it really that hard to connect? Ah, you know why? Because it's, it's the connection are, is actually going in and out. On my phone it is fine, but maybe you're right. Maybe it goes in and out. But can I go up here? Okay, let's do... What happens when I do that? I don't even have a map. If I never leave this park, Oh, we can go up and then go past. Yeah, we go past. Okay. Let's see how we have to go. And all the stuff. <coughs> I'm climbing already. Oh, there's no connection. Oh, that's not going to work. Well, the rain's gonna go. The rain, no. <laughs> For me, walking through the park. Because that is a no no. No connection, nothing. Let's go back into the village. Let's go back into the village. Yeah, I wanted to, as you said, there was a really good lookout point, but we just, we have no connection there. So I can go look for a lookout, but there's not so much to look with you guys. <laughs> Sorry. People are really weird here, I have to say. They're all looking at me like I'm some sort of an alien. Maybe I am. It's also not obvious tourist season yet, but those are those boats that they use for the river cruises. Can I zoom in? That church I just visited, but you know, if you're so, I'm so spoiled. I am seriously spoiled. Maybe we should just buy cookies. Sablé cookies. Maybe that's a better idea. It was a sign. Chantal, you should go buy cookies. <laughs> Let's go buy cookies. Hey, Jeffrey. Hey, Susan. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very, it's a bit too quiet for me, I have to say. It 
it's a bit too quiet. Oh, look, there's a little Maria here. Maria, Maria, Maria. Here she is. Hello. She's having Christmas lights and Let me zoom out again because we're going into streets. Uh, burp. I always have to make a burp. Otherwise, that's my signature. <laughs> it's a signature. He's burping back. Oh. Cars go so fast here, it's mental. Oh, it's police. Tiny grotto, yeah, <laughs> I'm so used to Paris. Strange place to nail a person to a cross. <laughs> it is really, it, you know, maybe if the sun shines, it looks a bit like Nice, I don't know. It's just maybe still too early, but everywhere in my in my weather forecast it said sun, sun, sun. Not so much sun here. Oh. I still have half of a sandwich in my pocket. They had to make me one because they couldn't. Uh, they were already sold out. <laughs> they probably make like three a day for the whole village. Yeah, if you like ask me, Chantal, where would you want to live in France if you have to leave Paris? I wouldn't choose this place, but hey, you know, you know, be realistic. <laughs> Dennis, good morning. Purpose <laughs> for SEO, I know. Well, you can still get to weather Paris. Partly cloudy, nine degrees. Well, it's colder in Paris. Can you believe it? And I think it's cold here. <laughs> yeah. What a life, what a life. I have been uh, in contact with uh, quite a few Ukrainian refugees here. Um, I have to say, locals are super helpful, but I mean, that's everywhere. But it's also kind of a weird situation because, you know, they are just like you and me. They're here with cars, nice cars. But in the meantime, they are refugees. They have no home, they can't go home. It's not, it's not like they're on a European holiday, you know, driving around. So it's very... Uh, also, they have to be super careful with their money. Because of course there is no... They're not working, they're not... Uh, yeah. And it's for them also a very strange situation. Because they think they can go home any day. They think maybe they're going to have a message. Oh yeah, you can come home tomorrow. But it could also be years. It's so weird. It's really, it's really like, you know, that so many million people are in a situation and they all want to be close by the Ukraine. They want to stay in the area, not too far. So even if they can fly to the States or whatever, it's, you know, they, they want to be able to return quick. So I had conversations about it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty rough. Look. Zoya tipped me to get some blaze from here <laughs> in the pink shop. 
sinds 1617, Marquise de Sablé. Oh, it's more like a fun little streets. Oh, it's already Easter. Easter Sablé's. express and I have one downstairs. <laughs> Are you guys still there? Hello? Lots of banks here. Or maybe this is because it's the Hotel de Ville. Look, do you notice something? Yeah. I notice something. I yeah. So this is the town hall of Sablé. Look at it. It has three flags. And this is basically in every little village here. That's pretty cool. You see it? So this is a thing. So in France normally they have uh, French and European flags. And now they have a Ukrainian flag in the middle. Well, Ricky, I'm taking the sights in for you, so you don't have to come in. <laughs> I'm always very enthusiastic. Um, this place, okay, I will buy some cookies and uh, the, even everything is closed. I was in the church. I went to the, I went to the, the, to the park, but the castle is closed. So yeah, what to do? And then I have to walk. Uh, half a mile to get to the train station. So, it's kind of funny. The shopping streets look super busy. <laughs> and it's uphill. <laughs> It's an, uh, yeah, it is maybe because I am from kind of a village in the Netherlands that is uh, slightly bigger than this, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's something, yeah. <laughs> um, how long is the ride back? Well, I have to go with a uh, train first from, I go first by train from Sablé to Le Mans and then I take the, uh, the We Go TGV, the fast train, from Le Mans to uh, Paris. With that, so I will be home tonight by 8. Um, so how many kilometers is it? Maybe 200 or something? But um, I arrived yesterday, I w early in the morning I went by train, bus, it was quite adventurous. I didn't really film my trip. Oh damn, I think, look they have an intersport but that's closed. And I was thinking maybe I should take a train earlier back. <laughs> the first one goes at five. <laughs> it's like, that's how desperate I am. <laughs> Can I take a train back earlier? No, the first one goes at five. <sighs> Lately, this is the farthest from Mama get outside in Carnan. 
doesn't look small to me. <laughs> but I can tell you, I'm... Uh... <laughs> oh, they have a Lotto Toto local cafe for coffee. Yay! I always... I, je detest. Je me detest. I hate those kind of places because there are always these gambling people and guys and they're smoking and uh, I hate it, can't stand it. So that's not where I'm going to have coffee. Look! Where am I now? <laughs> Randomly. Allergy trees, yeah! With that one little tree me in the middle of nowhere. I said to Tim, oh no, it's crazy. I'm going to spend some time in some play, film there, go home. <coughs> oh, 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 oh. Everything, I'm always so... So positive about everything I see in France. And today I'm like, as we would say in Dutch... Hier wil ik nog niet, nog niet doodgevonden worden. Anyway, basically what I'm saying. I don't want to be found dead in this village. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, I see some amazing... Look at that. We finally get that horrible red sand to go. This, see? Finally, because that's really difficult to breathe. That orange sand cloud. So you see there the line. That's bizarre. Wow. That is like really like spectacular. <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> you know, I am I am just saying how it is. But maybe I'm just a city girl, who knows? Look, is this a drive through bakery? <laughs> it's like, oh, sorry. I just like, I'm just. People must think here, what is, why is she coming to film here? What is it? <laughs> I'm looking for lost, lost, lost Ukrainian refugees. Well, I heard a story. This was like in one of these villages, actually, that a Ukrainian man arrives in a humongous 4x4 four four, like really big who came in at one of the little the little like uh, town halls and was like well i'm ukrainian i come here for help and they're like okay but they need a translation guess who they call so my friends went for translation and uh she said she said she's all it was a 4x4 four four that needed two parking spots. <laughs> he uh, was talking for three hours and they're like, well, you have to register at the police. And he was not so keen on that. But he's like, oh, but can I take a shower? Do you give me free like this and free that? And, <laughs> and they're like, uh, yeah, of course you can take a shower. So they were very helpful. And <laughs> I swear, as she said, he walks out to go take a shower, grabs his huge Louis Vuitton bag <laughs> to take a shower. And I was like, well, I'm not going to be registered with the, <laughs> with the prefecture, but with the police, because <laughs> I'm going to fly to Canada anyway. <laughs> oh my God. I'm, I'm <laughs> she had to say, she had to tell people, well, that's not how Ukrainian people are, you know. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, yeah, everyone is trying to, uh, to breathe not that Dutch, you're right. But anyway, then, uh, she said, there's actually five refugees that are really needing the help and, you know, they don't have cars like that. And the mayor of the village said, well, that car, one tank of fuel is like three months of, <laughs> three months of my salary. <laughs> I I was just shocked. Oh yeah, by that time I will be in Canada. 
<laughs> with his Louis Vuitton bag. Oh, 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 oh. Some people. <laughs> yeah, we have to, you know, it is really bad, but <laughs> it's also the things that are happening are quite hilarious. And you have to take things also a little bit like with a, you know, a korreltje graan, as we would say in Dutch. A little, a little grain of wheat. <laughs> well, that's a bit symbolic because that will not be left at this moment with the war in the Ukraine because they supply all the wheat through wheat as in wheat to eat in the bread. <laughs> Ricky. I know. Oh, selfie. Well, she did a duck face. <laughs> My mom would always say, he's doing a duck face. I'm walking back to the town so that I can actually get myself some uh, some sablés. <laughs> Oh, you see, they eat. Yeah, I forget that town halls have that. They tell you the time. Look, it's 10 to 5. 4, sorry. I'm thinking I'm going to leave soon, but no. My train is in the exact two hours. Because I was thinking, okay, if I go to Le Mans earlier, <laughs> I could film in Le Mans. Because in Le Mans, there is, you know, the. it's a very incredible... Um, place, the church and all that. I will go get cookies for Tim. Some place. But you know, I'm not going to film inside because it's a bit, a little bit. People are not so keen on being filmed here. Should we just take a random street? Rue de l'Echelle. Okay. Rue de l'Echelle. <laughs> oh, yeah. So many funny things happened. Even in sad times. That's why you have to leave Paris for a day or two just to breathe and get some new inspiration and film some stuff that you don't do live and surprise you guys with it. Look. That doesn't look very American, does it? That looks old. Look how cute. Lily Shell. Probably has to do with the stairs. Maybe I found something nice. Still look for a nice cup of coffee. But I don't think I'm gonna find that here. Oh. oh, it's very pretty here. <laughs> Tim, yay, cookies. <laughs> uh, Tim, have we been here together? Yes, Sable. With Bobby, no? This is maybe a little more pretty. I just want to, I have a very heavy bag and that is for Nina, look Nina, because she's Finnish, Mari Mekko, made in Finland, oh, but I didn't think I was going to carry it around everywhere like this today. Great idea, they said. Rue du Chateau. Well, that's a good sign. Chateau. Oh, that smells so greasy. Oh, there's the chateau. Oh, okay. Okay. We're doing sort of a tour. 
So the foundation of some houses here is still medieval. Great. So, oh, the chateau is open. Let's walk in. Let's walk into the chateau. Now it becomes more interesting, guys. We are not... Uh, look, I see an open door. How stupid tourist. I'm just going to walk in. Do we still have connection? Yeah. Oh, the lookout point. Sorry if I haven't answered yet. Okay. Interesting. We're inside the chateau. Look, all the little... It's for Tim, for hay fever. So where's my lookout? <laughs> God, where's my lookout point? Oh, a magnolia tree. Jesus, guys, I'm carrying an extra bag huh? here. That's heavy. Yay, cookies. Hi, Curtis. So I'm carrying that and I have a backpack. Okay, we're gonna find the lookout points. Could have climbed the Eiffel Tower with less bags. <laughs> uh. well, at least we have a magnolia tree. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, there is the chateau. It's still open, everything. Where is the lookout? Of course the connection drops here. That's a trespass. Maybe somebody lives here. Bibliotheque Nationale, Entrée Interdite. Entrée is forbidden to everybody not belonging to people. Oh no, no, she didn't go. Let's. The connection is shit too. A very weird orange. Okay, now I'm walking through the shit. Oh, what are you doing, Chantal? We have no connection. Okay, let's get out. That's an old tree. That's huge. Look at it. Let's go get cookies and go. <laughs> oh, they have toilets. See through. Hmm, interesting. The, the flowers are not as far yet here as they are in Paris. Whoa, those trees are really old. Look at the trunk. Wow, look at that one. I remember walking around here. I think it was with Tim. That's an old tree. <coughs> Not 
Not a burp for the SEO. SEO burp. Yeah, it must be a cypress. I'm just going to have a seat for a second because I'm tired. Oh, I just need to take oh, my backpack off my... So there's the chateau. Here's my backpack. With my... If you're... You know, everybody's always like, baguette, baguette. I'll show you a baguette. It was really big, the baguette, so a piece of baguette left with cheese. I needed to eat something, so I was like, well, give me a baguette with some cheese. <laughs> that will get me through to tonight. I hope. Oh, relaxing, finally. Hi, Lori. Yeah, the sound of the birds is nice, huh? But that weird orange, like you can see it there as well. Well, just zoom in a bit more. Can you see the orange? No, you can't see it coming through. Oh, that's me. Hi. There is this weird orange line. I just want that sand to be gone. Because it's so hazy. Is it gross? Wow. Where are you? You hear it? Wow, I was just listening. There I am, and a dog who just like happily runs past me. I look tired because I have no makeup or anything on. I forgot face cream too. So what I did, I had some Vaseline in my bag. So I put it like everywhere. <laughs> Vaseline on my face. Oh, looks awful. Oh well, whatever. But here I am, ask away, ask questions. Oh, it's doggy meet up, so many dogs. Maybe I should just put my glasses on, voila. Then you can see my, uh, my rig and everything. And it says, follow me on all social media. I'm wearing my hep sweater. Any other questions? It's so quiet here. Well, not really. The birds are really loud. And this tree is very amazing. Can you see it? That tree. I feel like sleeping. Time to sleep. I just have to laugh because I see my gimbal. Oh wait, can I make signs outside of my... Oh, I have to... Hey, hi, hi. 
Hey. There's dogs everywhere. Pets make piggy sounds. Enjoying the birds. I know. Anyway. This was your report. All the way from Sable. I would not totally recommend this to go visit because I think there's lots of places more interesting. <laughs> the chateau is closed. Um, the gare is a little too far to walk. Coffee, I can only drink at like the gambling cigarette bar. Maybe in the summer it's better, who knows, but I would not uh, say at this time, go here. Well, what did we learn? They have Ukrainian flags on the town hall. The reflection in the glass is so cool, thanks. Um, hey, Nina! Oh, Nina, look. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Nina, I did this for you. I'm traveling with this bag and it's too heavy. <laughs> it's, I'm carrying it up to Marimekko. I love my Marimekko bag and I've washed it so many times. It's nearly like a jeans bag, but in red, red cotton. <coughs> Marimekko in Finland. But it's time to go. Thanks, this was a nice change of scenery, I know. And as you know, if you want your Eiffel Tower badge, like many of these people here, subscribe to, no, not only subscribe, become a member or whatever they call it. It's an, uh, a Paris connoisseur. Paris connoisseur, yeah? Yeah, Paris connoisseur. And yeah, we're gonna be in Paris and not in Paris. Like now we're not in Paris. And look, this is the map from the town hall or from the office du tourist. At least we found something we can walk up. I still have a connection. So I'm gonna buy cookies and I'm gonna buy coffee. And I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow in Paris. Good idea, not good idea. If you are here for the very first time, let me know what you think. Because I see now we have suddenly 16 people. And I am only after 200,000 followers here on YouTube. She says with a really straight face. YouTube is not going to give me followers. That's just like, it is what it is. But hey, we love YouTube. Uh, maybe I'm going to do less live streams and more, well, maybe once a week and upload like where you can see the best of. Or maybe not. Who knows? We see. Bye. I do it with glasses because the glasses look much more cooler than me with my non-moisturized face. Bye, everybody.